Alright, so I say that every time I start a video. <laughs> I'm going to start with the uh, facial bones here. And um, first off we have the nasal bone. It's actually quite a small bone. It's just this bone right here. That's called the nasal bone. The maxilla is kind of whoa, everything else in this area is all the maxilla. Oop, not that. And <laughs> if you flip it over, this is still maxilla down here. Maxilla, 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 maxilla. So, uh, just to give you some perspective. On the body of the maxilla, you'll see the infraorbital foramen. Just means holes below the orbits of the eye. Um, and there are nerves that innervate the face that pass through there. The zygomatic processes of the maxilla and where the zygomatic bone is, the process that articulates with that is right there. Um, frontal processes. So it's this section of the maxilla. Make sure I'm focused here. Okay. Yeah, this section of the maxilla that articulates with the frontal bone. So, again, that'd be right around here. And that, again, articulates with the frontal bone. Um, the alveolar processes are all these jut outs right along here, and they basically accept the teeth. And they're called the alveolar processes. The palatine process. I'm going to move this upside down. And the palatine process is right around here. Um, it's really hard to tell on here, but you should uh, check your atlas. And they can kind of point out exactly where it is, but it's right about there. And again, that's palatine process. On this particular skull, the lacrimal bone should be very awkward angle for me to point this out, but should be right about there. You can see some of this looks like it may have chipped away, um, but the lacrimal bone should be right there. And there'd be an orbital surface of the ethmoid bone right there. And that's before you get to the um, optic canal. So, but just no lacrimal bone is kind of the first bone in. Um, zygomatic bones, really not too much. It's your cheekbone. Zygomatic bone is just this portion right here. And for the zygomatic bone, you'd have a frontal process that articulates with the frontal bone, frontal process. You have the maxillary process that articulates with the maxilla. Um, the palatine bones, really, it's since this we know this is all maxilla, kind of this line here again, atlas will an atlas will tell you better. Um, but it's basically this section here, which is called the palatine bone, makes up your hard palate. Um, the inferior nasal concha. You can somewhat see on the skull, right there, and right there. You do have superior nasal concha as well. Those are a little bit harder to see, um, definitely not as prominent in here. But again, those are just like little jet outs in the bone basically that help to stir up the air, moisturize it, warm it before you inhale it into your lungs. Um, so again, those are called inferior nasal concha. Um, the vomer bone is easiest to see from this point of view. It's a very small bone. It's right here. Um, if you flip the skull over and look directly into the nose, I don't think there's enough light, but you can kind of see it um, where my pencil is, right there. And that is the vomer, V-O-M-E-R. 
So I'm going to put the skull aside and we're going to do the mandible really quick. So this is the mandible. Um, the body of the mandible is really just this main section. It's the body of the mandible. The mental protuberance is the bony prominence at the tip, or uh, the most anterior aspect. It's the mental protuberance. The mental foramen are these little holes. Blood vessels and nerves and all kinds of good stuff come out of there. Uh, the mental foramen. The ramus of the mandible is mainly just this section right in here. It's the ramus. The angle of the mandible. The coronoid process is right here. Coronoid process. The it's really a the congular process that has a head, um, obviously on both sides. So that's the congular process with the head. That's what's going into your skull right over there. And uh, lastly, there is a mandibular notch. A mandibular notch. So again, just really briefly, the whole thing is called the mandible. Got the body, the mental protuberance. My hand seems huge. <laughs> um, the mental protuberance, the mental foramen, the ramus, the angle of the mandible not even on the camera anymore, and you can tell it's getting late. Um, the coronoid process right here, the congular process with the head, and then the mandibular notch. And lastly, just making sure I get this covered, um, within your cranium there's three fossa, three big fossa. This front section here, logically called the anterior fossa, the middle section, believe it or not, is called the middle fo cranial fossa, so anterior cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa, and then this whole back section is the posterior cranial fossa. And that about sums it up for what um, I need to know for this class. I'm sure there's going to be some extra things that come up too, but uh, hopefully that has helped you. I know it's helped me in just talking it out and explaining it. So uh, thank you very much.